Hello and welcome to the Focus Hoops Women's EuroLeague Bubble Breakdown. I'm Kaz Bullock and I'll be talking you through Group A. Who are the players to watch? What's the game of the group? All that good stuff. So first of all, what is EuroLeague? What is it that we're watching here? EuroLeague is the main women's club basketball competition in Europe. It features the top 16 teams from the continent and the best players in the world. This year, teams are split into four groups of four and each group is playing games in a hub just in one single location. There are no home and away games due to COVID. So in theory, the home court advantage is lost unless you're one of the lucky teams playing in your home arenas. This is the second round of games that's starting on Monday the 18th of January to the 25th of January. The first round of games were played in December. Each team plays each other twice, so six games, one point for a loss and two points for a win. The top two teams from each group qualify and then go on to the quarterfinals that are held on the 17th and 18th of March, 17th and 19th of March this year. The semi-finals and finals then take place in April. Um, all games can be watched live on the FIBA YouTube channel, or you can watch them back if there are uh, unfriendly times for you, depending on your time zone. So I'm going to take a look at Group A. Um, this is taking place in Salamanca in Spain, and the four teams that we have in this group are Perfumeras Avenida from Spain, Nedezhdia in Russia, Dinamo Kursk also from Russia, and Izmet Belady Spor in Turkey. So let's jump in and look at Dinamo Kursk to start with. So last season, they made it to the quarterfinals of the Euro Cup, which is the second tier um, basketball competition in Europe. This season, they're 0 and 2 in the Euro League and 12 and 1 in their domestic league in Russia, behind the absolute powerhouse that is UMMC Ekaterinburg. They had a very close loss in game one to Nadezhda. Arike Agubawale had the ball with 10 seconds or so left. Um, down by three, takes the three pointer. The shot's short, unfortunately. Now, we've seen Arike Agubawale in that situation many times. And she, we know she can make that kind of shot. She's the player that you want to have the ball in her hands in those kind of situations. Unfortunately, came up short in that game against Nadezhda, which just seems quite a, a, an upset there. Dinamo Kursk were expected to win. Um, they then had quite a heavy loss to Avenida, um, 15 points there, and they're in quite a tough position now um, to, to claw back some of those wins and finish in one of the top two positions. The domestic form is great. They're one, last come, one loss coming to UMMC, so they're going to hope to try and replicate that in the competition. They have lost Amanda Zowie B, New York Liberty player, to injury. Um, so that's going to be a bit of a loss for them there at the centre position. They have signed Eva Lisek to replace her, um, and they'll be hoping that she can come in and make an impact straight away. So who is one of the players we should watch for Dinamo Kursk? Obviously, Arike Gumbawale, Dallas Wings' absolute scoring machine in the competition so far. She's averaging 23 points per game, two and a half rebounds and five and a half assists. She's going to be key to this team getting wins. Then we have Stephanie Mavunga playing for the Chicago Sky in the WNBA. So far in the competition, nine points, 11 rebounds and two assists. And then we have Reza Mushina. Five points, three and a half rebounds so far. But in the domestic league, she's averaging 15.6 points, eight and a half rebounds, two and a half assists. So I'd be looking to see her get some more court time. She's shown what she can do in the domestic league and to get that chance um, in the Euro League. Okay, so our next team is Izmit Belady Ispor in the Turkish League. Now, they've never played in either the Euro League or the Euro Cup. Um, this season, they've yet to play a game um, as they had some COVID related disruption around the hub in December. So it's been decided that their games uh, moved to the 16th and 18th of February that they missed there. They've got a tough road because they're playing three games in four days this week. Um, and their decision to move those extra two games to February allows them to not play six games in eight days, which would be um, a tough ask. Um, so, as I said, this is their first season in either EuroLeague or Euro Cup. They're going to want to come out, make a statement, show everybody what they can do, and, you know, and that why they deserve to be in this competition. The domestic form has been a little bit up and down. Um, they've had five straight losses in October and November, but they seem to have found the form a little bit more recently, winning five of their last six. 
So players we want to look out for in Ismet, Erica Wheeler, Indiana Fever player in the WNBA, All-Star Game MVP in the 2018-2019 season. She's been averaging 14.7 points per game, 3.6 rebounds and 5.5 assists. And when Erica Wheeler gets hot from three, she gets hot from three. So she is going to be throwing up threes and scoring them there for Ismet. At centre, we have uh, Brazilian Clarissa dos Santos. She has been averaging 11 points a game, 11 and a half rebounds, 1.7 assists, and she's coming off a big two big games where she had 35 point, uh, sorry, 35 rebounds in the last two domestic games. She's a huge factor there. That inside presence helps as well because obviously Erica Wheeler shooting and the other guards that they have, they've got um, areas covered there that they need to. And then finally, we have Milika Jovanovic. Um, 12.4 points, four and a half rebounds, and one and a half assists. So moving on, our third team is Nadezhda in the Russian League. Last season, uh, they reached the quarterfinals of the Euro League before the season was, was cancelled due to COVID. This season, they're one-on-one -on -one in the Euro League, and at home in the Russian PBL, they are eight and four, which is third place behind UMMC Ekaterinburg and Dinamo Kursk. So their opening game where they beat Dinamo Kursk, obviously they were seen as the underdogs there, so that was quite an upset um, and a bit of a surprise win for most people. Um, they then had quite a heavy loss to Avenida, 70-42. to 42. Um, They have had a little bit of a tendency for turnovers in some of the games, and they're going to want to clamp down on that to put themselves in a position to win going forward. So players to watch for Najesta are Anastasia Shilova. So she's putting up four and a half points a game, one and a half rebounds, one assist. Maybe not, you know, huge eye-catching numbers, but she's a massive threat from three. She's averaging 35% in the domestic leagues this, this season. And look look for her to try and replicate that and just take those three-point shots when she's getting the open, open shot. Then we have Monique Billings. Atlanta Dream player in the WNBA, averaging 11 points per game, seven rebounds, one and a half assists. She had a little bit of a slower start in the domestic league this season, but she's really found her footing recently. In the last two games, she's had 41 points and 26 rebounds. So she's finding her footing at the right time, and she's going to be a huge part of this team's chance to win. And finally, Anastasia Longuba, 10 and a half points, seven and a half rebounds, two assists, she was a big factor in that Dinamo Kursk win. 19 points and 12 rebounds, finishing with a double-double. And then our final team in the group, Pufumeras Avenida in Spain, in Salamanca in Spain. Um, so I guess essentially with the group being played there, the, this is the team that has the, the home court advantage. You know, they're not going to have to get used to the baskets, get used to the court. Um, that's probably going to be a benefit to them. Last season, they finished in the quarterfinals of the Euro Cup, again, the second tier, um, and were actually due to play Dinamo Kursk before the season was cancelled. This season, they're 2-0, and top in the group, and in the domestic Spanish league, they are 20-0, and which is just an amazing run so far. So, top of the group, 2-0, and big wins against Dinamo Kursk and Nadezhda in the, the first round of games. They beat Nadezhda 70 to 42 and then 89 to 74 against Dinamo Kursk. This is a team with a very deep rotation. They have 10 players playing 15 minutes a game in the domestic league. They're a very strong team from three, shooting 40% in the Spanish league, 31% in EuroLeague. So not quite as up there, um, but they'll be getting there. And they've had a couple of 50% from three games in the Spanish league. 14 from 27, when you've got the Samuelson sisters on your team, you're going to be able to be shooting three-pointers like that. So players that we want to look at for Avenida, we'll start with Tiffany Hayes, Atlanta Dream player in the WNBA. She sat out this season uh, to focus on social justice causes, uh, but she hasn't missed a beat basketball-wise, and she's come in to Avenida, and she has taken off. She played the game against Nadezhda with 21 points on 9 of 13 shooting, 5 rebounds and 2 assists. 
And so far in the competition, she's averaging 22 and a half points per game, five and a half rebounds and one assist. And then we have Katie Lou Samuelson, Dallas Wings player, um, her first season overseas. And she is averaging 12 points per game, six and a half rebounds and 2.5 assists. Now, Katie Lou Samuelson, along with Carly Samuelson, are both fantastic three-point shooters. And they're part of what helps the Avenida's outside game. Um, watch for her to be taking and making the threes in these games. And finally, we have MSA Hoff at center, her, who's from Holland. She's averaging 12 points per game, 12 rebounds and two assists. And she has the inside presence that makes Avenida such an all-around team um, and really helps them. Um, great shooting guards and a great inside presence. You can get rebounds, you can get down low. And um, that is what makes them such a dangerous team and a tough team to beat. So my picker games to watch in this group, I'm going to go for Izmit and Dinamo Kursk on Thursday, the 21st of January. So that's on at 4.30 p.m. Uh, European time, which is 3.30 if you're in the UK and a bit of an early start for you in the US on the East Coast. That's going to be 10.30 in the morning. So this game, we're going to get to see what Izmit look like. Um, and I'm looking forward to that matchup between Erica Wheeler and Arike Ogunbowale at the guard position. It's going to be a very fast, very fun, high scoring game. Um, very excited to see this one. So that's all for Group A. Um, thank you for watching. Pick a team, you know, get involved, support someone and watch on YouTube, on the FIBA YouTube channel. Once you've done that, look out for the rest of our videos where we're covering groups B, C and D and catch us on Thursdays on the Focus Hoops YouTube channel. We have the Kaz and Daz show where we cover women's basketball around the world. We've got WNBA, WBBL, EuroLeague, EuroCup, WNBL, all the women's basketball that you could want. Join us then on Thursday and we'll see you soon. Thank you.